This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk this Nothing like we've ever seen It was crazy, so the gym was packed, uh, my new coach was done. Got a crowd involved, and you know, the atmosphere was great the whole entire game. Well, my college experience, I just want to go somewhere that's uh, home away from home. You know, that's an extension of my parents, and uh, also just somewhere where I can go and play my game. And, you know, it's a good place to be. Welcome back inside a Hoop Hall at Hoop Hall East here in Lewis, Delaware. Cape Penlopen High School, the site of one of the best annual basketball tournaments in the country. Nick Allison Drini alongside Jimmy Smith. We are through two of four of our final Thursday slate here at Slam Dunk. We got a good one of te two teams that we've had a chance to check out already. Had a chance to see them yesterday. West Town High School going up against Blair Academy here in this one. And West Town made their third game of the year at this point, right? So Correct, yep, two and not, a, not a ton of experience so far this year. Younger team. Coach Berger mentioned yesterday only three of his players have been here, and they're here every year. So that's transfers, that's young players that are starting to get to play. Malik Rizul, the transfer there from Sierra Canyon. Gil Hull, a lot of interest. Mayock committed to American. So West Town rebuilding here, and I say that relative to the Cam Reddish and Mo Bamba years where they were phenomenal, top ten in the country. And Blair, with the back and forth game with Bergen yesterday, both these teams playing back to back days. This will be exciting. This is another one. This is another height versus heart. West Town bringing the height. And we'll see if Blair can match with some heart. And you can see it as the two teams stand next to each other there at half court. A little bit of a height discrepancy. And Meg Wu going to have to play big today, as he did yesterday for Blair Academy. And if you haven't seen some of the highlights from Jaden Lamont, had a very pretty pass and has been making its waves on social. I'm sure you've had a chance to check it out from yesterday. He'll be in action in this one. And you talked about Gil Hull and Malik Rasul, Matt Mayock, Saifon Triplett has committed. So Matt Gilhol will talk about him. He's the four-star power forward, 6'10", 205. Virginia Tech, West Virginia were in last weekend to check him out. Penn State, West Virginia, Mississippi State, Maryland, and Miami are also pushing for his services. Saifan, he's already committed. He's going to be a Stonehill Skyhawk next year. And we are set, ready to go here in game number three of our Thursday slate. And then a carry quickly here, so a turnover in the first couple seconds. As the Moose will hand it over here to the Bucks. Again, you mentioned to Jimmy 2-0 is West Town 1-2 for Blair Academy. So Lamont, now that's gonna be Emegwu, and he's gonna get it started with a triple straight away. For Ian Emegwu, we saw him hit a few of those yesterday. Almost as like a spot-up shooter was his role in that offense yesterday. Able to put a couple through, and he's starting off this one hot. Gilhul hands it off. Malik Rasul able there to get it for two off the glass. So a quick start here in this one. That's going to be a corner three for Jaden Williams, and he knocks it through. So both of these teams had a chance to play in this gym yesterday. Sometimes it takes you a game or two to get, you know, the environment and the range and everything. And these teams both look like they're going to be shooting pretty well here in their second game at Cape Penlopen. As that pass sails over the head of Jaden Kelsey. It's going to be a turnover on Malik Rasul. Got to watch out when you're walking courtside right there. <laughs> head on a swivel. Yeah. 
Got popped, just walking by. Starting Take lineups here too quickly. Jaden Lamond, Jaden Williams, Luke Paragon, Carnegie Johnson, and Emegwu. Those are your starters for Blair Academy. Here's Carnegie Johnson. Emegwu, how about a second three in the first? And that one rolls out. And then for West Town, it's Kelsey, Safon Triplett, Matt Gill, Hull, Malik Rasul, and Matt Mayock. Well, now you can, if you can continue to do that, get a Megwo to pull the bigs out there. Now you can attack the basket a little bit more with the guards. Blair led by head coach Joe Montaigne. Seth Berger, of course, the head coach for West Town. Rasul hop steps into the paint, finds three Buccaneers, taken away by Carnegie Johnson. Going to try to split two defenders. Can't finish in transition, and now quickly the other way comes Gil Hull. Shot on the baseline's rejected by Lamond. That put back, rejected as well. Third chance for Matt Mayock. No, Gil Hull trying to put it up and in. And how about that save from Williams, unfortunately, right into the hands of Malik Rasul. Kelsey can hit that straightaway. Three, nothing but net for Jaden Kelsey. Kelsey's three ball. Big factor yesterday when they kept trying to get him to shoot, wasn't hitting him, then hit some big ones down the stretch. Johnson gonna pull that one, quick trigger on the far wing. Doesn't go, and we have a 6-5 game here. Early in quarter number one. Here's Gil Hull. Again, a lot of size in this West Town starting lineup. Kelsey going to go baseline, good find. Matt Mayock, a knockdown shooter, won't fall that time. Rebound last touch by Carnegie Johnson, going to stay down this side. Rasul will head out here as Jaden Forsyth will get into the game, the sophomore. The inbound, trying to get it to Mayock. Ball tipped, hustled down by the freshly inserted Forsyth. Here's Mayock going to test the range here. Can't fall. Safon triplet skying for the offensive rebound. And he's fouled on his putback attempt. So he'll head to the free throw line. A lot of passing high on the wings amongst the bigs there for West Town. You call them bigs because they're tall. They don't play like centers. They play like threes and fours, stretch fours especially. So ball handling bigs, that really translates well into the next level. And it's good that you don't just force them to play as centers. You allow them to work on their skills, dribble drive, and you know, extending the range with three pointers. One of two from the line for Safon Triplett. Six all here, 450 to go first quarter. Emegwu, another three for him. Off the mark. And as we saw yesterday, Emegwu, he's going to let him fly if he's open. Yeah, he's a guy that plays a little bigger. He's physically he's thicker as well, but also can shoot. Forsyth off the mark on that three. Rebound to Jaden Williams. Now here's Jaden Lamont taking off the headband here for day two at slam dunk. Williams has some room, he'll fire the three. Rebound to Gil Hull. Here's Mayock, will drive baseline. It's an open Forsyth three from the corner. And Forsyth drops that one through. Looks like the three ball going to play a factor here for both of these offenses. Paragon, mid-range jumper from the baseline. No good. A 7-0 run in the last two minutes for West Town. And Blair, oh, from the floor on their last five. Here's Kelsey. Gil Hull, straightaway three. Lamont skies for the rebound, and he'll lead the break. Pair 
Sagan whips it back. They'll work it around. Now it's Lamont. Pull up from the free throw line and knocks it down is Jaden Lamont for his first bucket here in this one. Pretty good start here for Blair. Forsyth showing off the handles, trying to split two defenders, and Mengu comes up with the miss. And now it's Lamont in the corner. Gets it back from Mengu, trying to get inside. Took some contact as he put it on the floor. Lava. Foul on the floor. Not sure if we mentioned this yesterday. I, I saw this while tagging him on Twitter with the, the dunk video we posted earlier. But Megwu uh, committed to Cornell to play at the next level. So Big red machine. High quality education. Some high quality balls. Yeah, that's a great offer there. Cornell going to be lucky to have him. Dribble drive on the baseline. Nice reverse finish from Duran Rippey. First. And Rippey had a few highlights, a dunk in the game yesterday. And Duran just a freshman. Has a little bit, got too much of Jaden Kelsey out on the perimeter there. So first foul against Rippey. Triplett will head to the bench for Westtown. And in comes Cam Wallace, the junior. Kelsey whips it over to Forsythe. That's a parking lot three and nothing but net for Jaden Forsythe. And the sophomore's got two triples here in the first. Rippy back to Carnegie Johnson, and his answer is through. I'm trying to get stats to load up here to see the number of three pointers. Why is yours always faster than mine? I feel, I feel slighted here. No. At three, with the way things have been going, thought it was going to drop for a Mayock. It's off the mark and a whistle. We'll have a foul off the ball here. There we go. I just had to speak poorly about it, and it started <laughs> to work. So three of seven for Blair from the arc, three of eight for Westtown. And you see that uh, ribbon. You can't see it on the shot right now, but you'll, when we pull back out, you see the ribbon that's kind of coming off at a almost a 45-degree angle from the top of the basket that's helping support the basket. I've seen a lot of balls hit that over the years on the way to the rim. <laughs> Gil Hole couldn't corral it underneath. And it will be last touched by the Moose. So exactly a minute to play in the opening quarter here between Blair and Westtown. Westchester, PA, and Blairstown, New Jersey. Meeting up here at Slam Dunk. It's a Megwu in the corner, in and out. Kelsey lofting up ahead to Gil Hole, showing off the height there as he goes up and Takes that pass out of the sky. Took some contact as he hits the deck. And another whistle. Lucas Schmidt, the junior, is going to check in now and give Carnegie Johnson a breather. Didn't see a lot of him yesterday. But we'll get to see him in this one. Kelsey whips it to the corner. Matt Mayock, shooter's roll from three. So three seconds separating the shot and game clock. Rippy's going to pull a three and off the glass. He gets that one to fall. Back and forth with the threes. Bank is open on a Thursday evening, and now nine seconds for Kelsey and Westtown here in the first. It's Forsyth. He's been hot from beyond the arc. Two seconds, going to have to get a shot up. Mayock got it off in time. It'll count, but won't fall, and that'll bring us to the end. 
of corner number one. It's a good one here so far. West Town and Blair, 16 to 15. Bucks on top of the moose. We'll be back with second quarter action right here on Hoopal. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us Nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen I'm Mike Vincent, President of Sussex County Council. I want to welcome everybody to the Hoop Hall East Basketball Tournament, formerly known as the Slam Dunk to the Beach. It's a culmination for teams that qualify to come here. It's the best high school teams in the country qualifying these four qualifiers. Congratulate all of you. Welcome you and your families and friends to come visit Sussex County. Enjoy our beaches, our restaurants, the people of Sussex County, and good luck to all the players. Thank you. Welcome back inside Hoop Paul. It's Hoop Paul East here in Lewis, Delaware. K. Penlopen High School, the site of it. Thursday and final day here at Slam Dunk to the Beach. And we got Blair and West Town here in game number three of four on this Thursday afternoon, evening, and night. And Blair Academy leading West Town 16 to 15 after one. And Blair shot 46% from the floor. West Town 33%. Both teams have four triples. West Town out rebounding Blair 13 to five as we're set to begin second quarter action. Jaden Williams, a nice pull up jumper from just inside the arc for Jaden Williams. So far we have 19 attempted three-pointers between the two teams in a quarter. And you can hear the, the stop in here around us. Nothing better than a good t-shirt toss. Oh, yeah. Hit a three, get a t-shirt. That's what we got here going on as Mayock slashes through. Hangs in the air and gets it to go. A nice move on the penetration from Matt Mayock. And we're going to take a break. We have a timeout on the floor. 7.15 to go, quarter number two, 18 to 17. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Hoopo. camera from Soto Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Soto tradition of serving beautiful simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is a perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. Back live here in Lewis, it's Hoop Hall East. In game three here at Cape Penlopen High School, Nick Alessandri and Jimmy Smith on hand for Blair Academy and West Town. And it's been a good one as we are fresh into quarter number two, just a one point ball game, 18 to 17, as these two teams have been going back and forth. And yeah, normally the PA Maryland rivalries, what a lot of people talk about in New Jersey and New York, in this case, a little bit of a mix up there in the matrix. Yeah. And these two teams are really going to get the kids and the towels out of the way of the ball. There we go. This is a big one for both these teams. Some regulars, some slam dunk to the beach, football East regulars here, especially West Town, who's here every single year. Now, some more t shirts got the crowd on their feet here. What an event. Here in Slam Dunk to the Beach. Gotta love it. Inside to Imegwu, and he's got it with the left hand. A nice little floater from the big fella inside. Yeah, so if you see the camera shaking after a made three-point <laughs> basket, it's because we are in the bleachers with, with the people. And uh, they start yelling and jumping, and it gets crazy. 
Forsyth clear path to the cup, and he's got another bucket. Jaden Forsyth, the sophomore guard, eight points in this one. He's three of five from the floor. And we'll be hearing, I believe, at some point here in this one, Dr. Robinson gonna make his way up. Here between now and the next game, we'll see him and you'll hear from him. Here's Paragon, 15 to shoot. He'll let it fly from the left wing and a big three for Luke Paragon. He's got that in his arsenal. He's got his first here in this one. Now Blair Academy, five of 10 from three. So here's Saifon Triplett. Mayock, deep three. He's got another one, Matt Mayock. He's a sharp shooter. Didn't get to really show it off yesterday, but a better start for him here in this one. And now West Town, five of 11 from three. <laughs> These teams really love the three and hitting them right now. Three for Mayock, three for Forsythe. Those two are hot in the early going. And Megwell on the high post will retreat it back out and now they'll work it around. Schmidt drives and kicks to Williams for the corner three. And Jaden Williams, pretty stroke as he finds another triple. I won't keep updating you. I'm sure you're probably keeping stats at home. But just know both these teams <laughs> are on fire from distance. Forsythe thought about it. Now he'll take a contested baseline jumper and puts it in. Jaden Forsythe, that stroke is on here in his second day at K Penlope. Rippy thought about it for a second. 17 to shoot for Blair. Trying to thread the needle baseline to Paragon. Kelsey got a piece of it. And now Forsyth gonna bring it across half court. Room to fire, he will. Too strong. And the Bucks have the rebound. A two, three zone here from West Town. It continues to hold its shape. They're going to attack the high post. Schmidt going to elevate. Lefty puts the shot up, doesn't fall. Uh, that looks goaltending-y right there. That was still on the rim, it felt like. And again, Coach Montaigne, not going to argue that one, but I saw something similar. We'll see. Here's Forsyth now, puts it on the floor. Almost able to finish that one. Paragon had positioning. He tried to avoid him, just couldn't finish. Now it's Jaden Williams down the other end. Floater, a high floater falls through for Jaden Williams. And he's got double digits. He's got 10 now. Some subs for each team here at the next whistle. Gil Hool, one-on-one with Emegwu. Here comes the help from Rippey. Ah. And it results in a charge. The freshman, Duran Rippey, with the basketball IQ, coming over with the help defense. Yeah, it's hard to see him down there when you're already up in the air. <laughs> but that's the job. You slide over, take that contact, get the turnover. Gilhul and Triplett will head to the bench for West Town. Back in comes Cam Wallace, as well as Malik Rasul, who we haven't seen since early in that first quarter. And for Blair. Andrew Park fresh into the game. Williams, he's got another one. Jaden Williams, 13 here in the first half. He's got 13 of Blair's 31, and we'll take a timeout on the floor with the Bucks leading the Moose, 31 to 24. We'll be right back, 315 to play in first half action. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen Can I raise my hand to the sky? What a feeling Cause I feel like dancing high Got a feeling this is where it all begins Why Sussex County, Delaware? It's about quality of life, an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and culture it's about location. You may have vacationed here, but have you considered our low cost of doing business? 
abundance of industrial and business parks, and variety of incentives that generate an immediate ROI? Come for a visit. Stay for the lifestyle. Contact Sussex County Economic Development today. And welcome back. Inside Hoop Hall East, 3.06 to go here in first half action. A 31-24 lead for Blair Academy. Three ball falling for both teams. Yeah, so far, 7 of 12 for Blair, 5 of 12 for Westtown. So that's 58% and 42% respectively. It'll be Malik Rasul bringing up here now three minutes to go. Until the teams head into the locker room. Been a fun first half for your K Penlope in between Westtown and Blair. Here's Jaden Kelsey. Forsythe's been the hot man. He'll pass it up here. Kelsey drives, fading floater. Too strong off the glass. Carnegie Johnson up ahead to Jaden Williams. He's been lights out, and he continues to be here in half number one. Jaden Williams, 15 first half points. Very efficient, six of seven from the field. And now Westtown down by nine, his largest lead for Blair tonight. Malik Rasul, too much shoulder as he tried to put it on the floor near the baseline, and guess who takes the charge? Jaden Williams. Man doing it all right now. Offense, defense. Rasul picks up his first foul. 2.07 to go here in this half. I don't know, I'm gonna knock on all the wood I can. I don't know that we'll get into any foul trouble right now. Been pretty clean today. Been we have clean really overall. Had. I agree. I think all week for the most part. And that's part of the reason why we're back on schedule here. Parks three, short into the hands of Wallace. As we're under two minutes to go here in the first half. And then a foul against, I believe, Jaden Williams up near half court. Now some subs as Triplett and Gilhole will come back into the ball game for Forsyth and Wallace. One of the longer scoring droughts that we've seen really the whole week, three minutes yeah. and 22 seconds of scorelessness for Westtown right now. In that time, or rather in the last two minutes, 7-0 run for Blair. And that's unlike the Moose. I mean, they've got to be talked about a lot of talent on this roster. We saw what they could do yesterday, improving to 2-0. So uncharacteristic to go on a three and a half minute scoring draft. They'll look to end it here. Mayock back into the ball game for Westtown. Lamondo right up in him. Now Gilhul with 10 to shoot. Tries to get by Emegwu. Good defense by Emegwu. And now Rasul kicks it to the corner. Kelsey open three at the buzzer. Wouldn't go, and a, a nice board. rebound by Luke Paragon. Heads up play by Lamond to tip it over to Johnson. Loses a little bit of a push off to get the shot up on the baseline over Mayock, and it works out in his favor. Very soft. That one hit that back iron from that left side and just stopped dead. Under 45 to go now as the scorelessness continues for West Ham. Double digit lead now for Blair. Triplet trying to end the drought. Can't do it. Has his own rebound. He's on the baseline. Hands off to a cutting Kelsey. And that shot wouldn't go either. Under 30 seconds to go. Shot clock off here as we wind down the first half. Blair out in front of West Ham. Here's Lamont. He'll drive and kick him. Egwu, catch and shoot. No good. Now it's five seconds for Westtown. Kelsey has it in his hands with three. Two, gets the shot off at the buzzer. It's way short. And that closes out the first half between Blair and Westtown. The Buccaneers holding Westtown scoreless the final three minutes and 40 seconds. And they end the half on a 9-0 run. They lead 35 to 24. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll get you third quarter action live from Cape Penlope High School. It's Hoop Paulies presented by Sodell Concepts.
Hi, I'm Mike Vincent, President of Sussex County Council. I want to welcome everybody to the Hoop Hall East Basketball Tournament, formerly known as the Slam Dunk to the Beach. It's a culmination for teams that qualify to come here. It's the best high school teams in the country qualifying these four qualifiers. Congratulate all of you. Welcome you and your families and friends to come visit Sussex County. Enjoy our beaches, our restaurants, the people of Sussex County, and good luck to all the players. Thank you. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen It was crazy, so the gym was packed, um, I did a couple cool dunks. Got the crowd involved, and you know, the atmosphere was great the whole entire game. Well, my college experience, I just want to go somewhere that's a uh, home away from home. You know, that's an extension of my parents, and uh, also just somewhere where I can go and play my game. And, you know, it's a good place to be. I've been going through some stuff today. Uh, my grandfather passed away. Uh, he's met a lot of my games. He's my biggest fan. So uh, like, as soon as I woke up, uh, honestly, I just felt the feeling I was going to have a good game. Uh, I knew he was with me watching. Like, every shot I took today, it just felt great off my hand. Uh, you know, every warm-up shot, like, it, just, it was a great day other than that, obviously. So uh, I just knew he was with me watching me. And uh, I had no, no doubt in my mind I was going to have a good game. We were going to win those by a lot today. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Soto Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Soto tradition of serving beautiful, simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is a perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. I mean, just playing with different audiences, you know. We came down, I've never been to Delaware before, honestly. So being able to play in this crowd and perform, you know, it was a great experience. It was the first game, and you kind of had like a full crowd, so that was kind of, you know, the, the, the different maker for me. Because when you go to other tournaments, it's not really like that much of a crowd in the first game, so and that was a, kind of a shock to me. Why Sussex County, Delaware? It's about quality of life, an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and culture. It's about location. You may have vacationed here, but have you considered our low cost of doing business, abundance of industrial and business parks, and variety of incentives that generate an immediate ROI? Come for a visit. Stay for the lifestyle. Contact Sussex County Economic Development today.
Hi, I'm Mike Vincent, President of Sussex County Council. I want to welcome everybody to the Hoop Hall East Basketball Tournament, formerly known as the Slam Dunk to the Beach. It's a culmination for teams that qualify to come here. It's the best high school teams in the country qualifying these four qualifiers. Congratulate all of you. Welcome you and your families and friends to come visit Sussex County. Enjoy our beaches, our restaurants, the people of Sussex County, and good luck to all the players. Thank you. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen It was crazy, so the gym was packed, um, I did a couple cool dunks. Got a crowd involved, and you know, the atmosphere was great, all time game. Well, my college experience, I just want to go somewhere that's uh, home away from home. You know, that's an extension of my parents, and um, also just somewhere where I can go and play my game. And, you know, it's a good place to be. I've been going through some stuff today. Uh, my grandfather passed away. Uh, he met a lot of my games in my base fan. So uh, like, as soon as I woke up, uh, honestly, I just felt the feeling I was going to have a good game. Uh, I knew he was with me watching. Like, every shot I took today, it just felt great off my hand. Uh, you know, every warm-up shot, like, it, just, it was a great day other than that, obviously. So uh, I just knew he was with me watching me. And uh, I had no, no doubt in my mind I was going to have a good game. We were going to win those by a lot today. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Soil Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Soil tradition of serving beautiful, simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is a perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. And a welcome back, moments away from getting the second half started here at Cape Henlopen Open High School here in Lewis, Delaware, the site of Hoop Hall East. Nick Alessandrini alongside Jimmy Smith. And a great first half between these two teams. 58% Blair shot there in that first half, led by Jaden Williams. He had 15, and the Bucks have a double digit lead as we begin the third. Kelsey. To Rasul. As West Town struggled a little bit offensively, we'll see if they can get back on track here in the second half. Mayak looking to get that three up, didn't there. Now eight to shoot for the Moose. Triplet. Gonna have to just put it up. It's a deep three and it's short. And great defense right out of the locker room on the first possession of the second half by Blair. Carnegie Johnson gonna walk it up here. 
And here's been the man of the first half. That was Jaden Williams. Lamont been quiet, but they didn't have it needed him to do too much. Tries to elevate from the mid-range that time, and it's short, maybe got a hand on it, did the moose. Mayock, quick trigger from three, just a tad long. But that's his game. Seems like that's everybody's game right now. <laughs> Speaking of, Luke Paragon, his shot goes off the mark as well. And Megwu hustles down the offensive rebound for the Bucks. Here comes the hoist. It's just a lot of shooting, a lot of deep shooting here. Oh, Paragon thought was going to put that one up. Williams thought about it as well. He'll go to the baseline now. Johnson comes, gets it, elevates, and hits. Well, you feel this one possibly starting to slip for Westtown. Blair playing very well here. The defense from Lamond. He's able to put that one out of play with his left leg. He'll stay with the Moose. And yeah, who would have thought, you know, coming in, obviously a great matchup on paper, but Westtown, a lot of firepower just. Being held in check here so far in this one. Nine of 28 from the floor. And five of those makes are from threes. Forcing the turnover again to the Buccaneers. And how about that, Jimmy? Five threes, and they've only got four twos made so far in this game. So more threes for West Town than two-point field goals. They also have seven turnovers now. Just one for Blair. Carnegie Johnson, can he stay hot? He does. His last two jumpers haven't touched the rim. Straight through the net. Yeah, this is uh, a dream start for Blair here in the second half. Forsyth was the hot man early for Westtown. He's hasn't really shot the ball too much since then. He's four of eight from the floor, has double digits. He's in 10 points. Safe on triplet with a clear path for two. It's been quite a while since they've scored, obviously this entire quarter. Lamont showing off the handles, drive, kick, Johnson. Off the mark on that three, was looking for his third consecutive bucket. So the lead still at 14 here for Blair. Triplet, trying to set up Bayok in the corner, but good defense by Lamond to stay right on him. 15 to shoot. Triplet back to Gilhul, room to fire, and he knocks it down. Matt Gilhul, top of the key three ball. Or excuse me, they're gonna call that a two. Should be a three, I was gonna say, did not look like he was stepping on the line. Scoreboard was unsure, so, and so was the PA announcer. That's Gilhul's first bucket of the ball game for the four-star power forward. Now numbers, triplet, two-handed flush. A little run there, tiny run for West Town, and Blair wants to snuff that out with a timeout, a 30-second timeout. Would you like to pay some bills? Let's pay them. Uh, let's do it. Hey, Take why don't we see why it's awesome to come vacation in Delaware and come back uh, with us here on Hoop Hall East. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk There's nothing like we've ever seen Welcome back out of the timeout, 40 to 31. Coach Joe Montana wanted to stop this 7-0 run in the last minute for the Moose from Westtown. They've hit their last three field goals. And now back into a single digit deficit, 40 to 31 here in the third. No. 
So out of the break, we'll see what Coach Montaigne draws up for his team offensively. Johnson passing it around here. 14 to shoot for the Bucks. And Megwu, you know he'll fire too strong. How about Lamond, over three moves, pulling in the offensive rebound, then he'll go right back up, take some contact, and earns a trip to the line. As Moravian Prep is in the building. You see him walking into the baseline there. They're going to head to the locker room, get everything ready for their matchup coming up, and we'll wait and see who we get from Moravian today. Is yeah, that free throw good for Lamont? On Isaac Ellis' watch. Yep, correct, we are. To see if he is able to go. Saw him post game limp in a little bit. We had a chance to talk with him as well, so we thank him for his time amongst trying to eat and get some treatment. Yep. But we'll see. He obviously uh, a big part of it. And we'll see what Jordan Marsh has in store. 42-31. Triplet trying to get around the defense. Can't do it. Gives it up to Kelsey for a three. Doesn't go. Johnson drives and kicks. Three in the corner. Wouldn't go for Brendan Oliver, the sophomore. Tipped around, and now the Moose. Take it the other way, it's safe on triplet. Trying to get into the paint, defense has collapsed it. And the ball comes loose. Imegwu, 4-3. Good job by Oliver to get up there and tip the rebound just out of play, nobody was there to grab it. Megwu was there, and he started trending backwards to get on D. So the idea was right, but went out of play, and That's Westtown right. takes a timeout. It's interesting. Westtown brings the most staff of, of any team we've seen here as they'll take a full timeout. Seven coaches and a trainer for Westtown. Man, they take basketball very seriously. A storied program here uh, in PA, and also great to see them back at Hoopal. Same dunk to the beach. We'll be back after this. Why Sussex County, Delaware? It's about quality of life, an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and culture. It's about location. You may have vacationed here, but have you considered our low cost of doing business, abundance of industrial and business parks, and variety of incentives that generate an immediate ROI? Come for a visit. Stay for the lifestyle. Contact Sussex County Economic Development today. Hi, I'm Mike Vincent, President of Sussex County Council. I want to welcome everybody to the Hoop Hall East Basketball Tournament, formerly known as the Slam Dunk to the Beach. It's a culmination for teams that qualify to come here. It's the best high school teams in the country qualifying these four qualifiers. Congratulate all of you. Welcome you and your families and friends to come visit Sussex County. Enjoy our beaches, our restaurants, the people of Sussex County, and good luck to all the players. Thank you. Out of the West Town timeout. 2.45 to go here in the third quarter between Blair and Westtown. Blair still with that double-digit lead. 42 to 31. But zero field goals in the last three minutes for Blair. Still holding an 11-point lead. See if Forsyth can get it going like he did in the first half. Lamond pokes it out from behind. Good defensive play by Jaden Lamond. Drive and kick to the corner. Oliver will let it fly way off the mark. Lamont was there for the opportunity at the offensive rebound, but it sails off of him and out of play. Approaching two minutes to go in the third. Paragon will head to the scores table. He'll check in at the next whistle. Alongside the game's leading scorer, Jaden Williams. Matt Gill Hull going to try to get it rolling here. Nice little hop, step, and finish. That's one of the guys. 
as he's been working against Megwu. Speaking of Megwu, going to let one fly. Another three off the mark for him. And now Forsyth racing down the floor, trying to get it in the corner to Gilhul as Paragon and Williams will enter the ball game. Westtown seven offensive rebounds so far in this one. And a big advantage there, seven to two. But still trailing by nine. Triplet around the screen, gets inside, and is able to finish. So Safon Triplet adds on to his total. But just does the second bucket of the ball game. Gil Hull sends that one back as Duran Rippey tried to take him baseline. And Gil Hull acting like maybe at last touch Blair, but he'll stay down this end with the Buccaneers. The freshman Rippey straight away three. You hear that net from up here? Whew. Rips into a 10 point lead as we go under a minute in the third. Here's Mayock. And trap him outside, gets it to Gil Hole. And 20 to shoot for the Moose. Gil Hole splits defenders, couldn't finish though on his way to the basket. Nice move by him. And now quickly the other way, is he still back on defense? Lamont open three, it's just a little long. And now under 30 seconds to go in the third. Triplet to Kelsey, clear path, easy two for Jaden Kelsey. He's got five on his second bucket of the day, but he leads the team in rebounds. He's got five of those as well, and another timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 15 seconds to go in the third, a 45-37 lead for Blair Academy. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Soto Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Soto tradition of serving beautiful, simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is a perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. Third quarter action, 15 seconds left to go here in the third between Westtown and Blair Academy. Game three of four here on the final day of slam dunk to the beach. One more on the way, it's gonna be Moravian Prep and Bella Vista Prep. Going at it in the finale of our week here in Lewis. But back to the game at hand. Into single digits now we go. An eight point lead for Blair. Final possession most likely of the third gonna go to the Bucks here. It's Lamond, kicks it to the corner. Carnegie Johnson off the mark, but Jaden Williams is on cleanup duty. And he puts it right back in. Nobody boxed him out. He came flying in from the perimeter. And an easy two, as he now has 17. That's a game high. We're going to the fourth, a 10-point lead. Blair over Westtown. We'll be right back here on Hoopal. Why Sussex County, Delaware? It's about quality of life, an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and culture. It's about location. You may have vacationed here. But have you considered our low cost of doing business, abundance of industrial and business parks, and variety of incentives that generate an immediate ROI? Come for a visit. Stay for the lifestyle. Contact Sussex County Economic Development today. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk this, nothing like we've ever seen. Can I raise my hand to the sky? What a feeling. Cause I feel like dancing high. Got a feeling. This is where it all begins. Welcome back inside Hoop Paul here at Cape Hen Lupin High School. It's Hoop Paul East. Nick Alzadrini and Jimmy Smith capping off a week in Lewis here on a Thursday. And 
and we've got a good one here as we go to the fourth. Blair and Westtown. It's a double digit lead for Blair, but Westtown's been hovering around the whole time. And we'll see if they can break through here in the fourth quarter. We've had six lean changes in this one, but it's been Blair out in front most of the ball game. And we'll see if they can hold on. We're underway here in the fourth, and it starts with an Emegwu slam. You need a stop if you're Westtown. That is not a stop. And obviously we talked about the size differential, not a factor so far here in this one. The hustle from Blair. And Emegwu has played a strong game defensively. That goes underrated sometimes. But he's been great anchoring them defensively on Gil Hull. Forsyth, turnaround jumper is short into the hands of Luke Paragon. And here he goes, off to the races. Carnegie Johnson on the baseline, took some contact and a whistle as Matt Mayock will be hit with the foul. You know, just your third game together if you're Westtown. A lot of turnover, transfer, young guys. You know, a lot of promise though. It's not a it's not a skill thing, it's a continuity thing. It's a it's a togetherness. You know, bond type of thing. We saw it, you know, I saw it shoot around their first time out there. Coaches had to leave their shoot around because the, there was just lack of focus in, in their opinion. They left the gym and the team had kind of the rest of the shoot around on their own. And they rallied together and they got a win out of it. Here, a little more of an uphill battle. What does that rally look like here in the fourth quarter? We'll find out. We've got seven minutes to go here. Gil Hull just lost the handle. Jaden Williams with the steal. One on two, but some contact and probably a good foul by Kelsey. As he got a piece of Williams and no inbound now under the basket. Jaden Williams, 17 points, seven of eight from the floor, three of four from beyond the arc today. Two rebounds, three assists. And a chance to add on. Can he make it 20? Yes, sir, nothing but net. I'm not sure if any of his four triples hit rim. He has been lights out here in this one. And now Blair, 13 assists on 20 made baskets. It's good basketball. Cam Wallace into the game now. There he is with the ball in his hands. We'll work it around. Mayock has not been able to get that shot off today. Knocked down a few early. But the defense has been smothering from Blair, and now we have a whistle. A oh, road rash there. So 6-15 remaining in this one, and now a 15-point lead. And Matt Mayock going to take a seat here. Malik Rasul back into the ball game for the Moose. Check out that. I mean, the defense from Blair has just been spectacular. A lot of energy, and they don't run super deep in yeah. terms of the bench. They've played some guys, but the, the major minutes are on the floor right now, all pretty much 20-plus for everybody on the floor. Trying to work it around, just looking for a shot. Triplet has an open one that time. Doesn't go, and again, few open opportunities for Westtown here in this matchup. Megwu gonna let this one fly, and once again, just a little strong on his threes today. He's fired up nine of them, just one of nine. Here's Jaden Williams, drive and kick. Johnson just faded away a little too much there inside, and the ball just rolls off the front end. Kelsey draws the defense over. Rasul going to step into an open mid-range jumper and just off the mark. Triplett has his shot rejected by Jaden Lamond on his offensive putback attempt. Westtown just does not look good right now. That was a flat jumper. Offensive rebound attempts blocked. 
Coach Berger trying to find the right mix here. And like you said earlier, a big differential in energy too. You said Blair has been flying around today. Once again, Paragon trying to get to the steal. Good closeout by Williams. And they'll work it around. A good look here for Wallace. Won't go. Gilhul skies for the putback. You know, Blair trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to beat a program here. You know, if the West Town may not have a, a stellar squad like we've seen here at Slam Dunk Hoopal, you know, a couple years ago. But Blair's been here. And they just know they know what West Town is. They know what that means. And again, they build that program on those four pillars that we mentioned yesterday. Grit, gratitude, joyfulness, and selflessness. Seeing it all on the floor here in this matchup. Yeah, 13 assists on 20 baskets. There's selflessness. Coach Montaigne, 418 and 150 is his record at Blair, including 14 of the last 21 Mid-Atlantic Prep League titles. Building a program there as well, and that one goes. Luke Paragon knocks down another triple, and Blair continues to look good here. Wallace will drive on the baseline and get it to go off the glass. The second quarter has been the differential. Blair outscored Westtown 19 to 9 in that quarter. The first and third quarter were just separated by just one point. Paragon trying to drive. Good hands by Gil Hull. Tried to get it back. Ball tipped by Carnegie Johnson, but right back into the hands of Gil Hull, who finishes again underneath. Well, after the turnover, just the third for Blair. Westtown makes points out of it. Their first basket after a turnover. So plenty of time, I think, here. It is 12 points. But you can't trade baskets here. Williams has it. Nine to shoot through the Bucks. And Megwu to the high post. Free throw line jumpers rejected by Gil Hull. And they get the stop. Now they're going to need another basket. Here's Wallace. Nice pass underneath to Malik Rasul, threading the needle. Did Cameron Wallace in a timeout on the floor. 55 to 45, now back to a 10 point game, 2.46 to go. And we'll take a break with them. We'll be right back here with Hoop Paul East, Westtown and Blair, down the stretch. I'm Scott Kammer from Soil Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Soil tradition of serving beautiful, simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is a perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. Back live here at Cape Henlopen Open High School as we come down the closing minutes here in game number three between Blair and Westtown. Blair holding that 10 point lead, 55 to 45 over the Moose. Westtown though on a 6-0 run in the last minute and a half as they try to climb back in it. And now we'll see some pressure from them here in the backcourt just a tad as Carnegie Johnson walks it up for the Bucks. Jaden Williams, can he stay hot? My goodness, Jaden Williams, another nothing but net triple for number four in dark blue today. Eight of, excuse me, nine of 10, 23 points. He's hit five of six from deep. That miss for Kelsey. Offensive rebound though to Rasul, one-on-one with Paragon. 
up and in. Very soft there. Williams coming after the tournament high 28 from Darren Harris. We'll see if that holds. And that was an efficient day for him as well. He put on a shooting clinic yesterday. Williams, though, has that in his sight. Stops on a dime, good pass, makes the extra to the corner. It's Duran Rippey, and just maybe a little too much passing there out of Blair that time as they tried to get it back to Omegu at top of the key. Well, you saw all the eyeballs, attention, and bodies that went towards Williams, and he did, he did the right thing. It was the next pass that maybe was a little too much uh, in more ways than one. So this ball will give it back to the Moose here, trailing by 11. A minute 40 to go, Paragon gets a hand on it. Again, Blair just seems to be all over the floor. It seems to mean more to them right now. Yeah, they want it bad, they chose. Don't want to leave Lewis without a victory at slam dunk, and they're on the right track here. Kelsey around the screen, looking for somewhere to go. Lost control of the ball. Almost had it stolen. Gilhul, nice pass to Cam Wallace on the baseline. Heads up play by Matt Gilhul. 115, nine point game. Got to stop. Cannot trade baskets. Not and even foul. threes for twos. So that's going to be the fifth team foul against Westtown. Just one for Blair. We'll have a timeout on the floor. Coach Montaigne going to want to talk things over. Up by nine with a minute 12 to play. And one of our final games of the tournament. We'll take a break with them. And we'll be right back on Hoopal. Why Sussex County, Delaware? It's about quality of life, an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and culture. It's about location. You may have vacationed here, but have you considered our low cost of doing business? abundance of industrial and business parks, and variety of incentives that generate an immediate ROI? Come for a visit. Stay for the lifestyle. Contact Sussex County Economic Development today. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna talk. there's nothing like we've ever seen. And we are back here. It's a party at Slam Dunk to the Beach. The kids are out in full force, full family event here. We've had a great crowd over the week here in Lewis. Some dancing going on down there on the baseline. Nick Allison Trini and Jimmy Smith here for the final minute 12 of Westtown and Blair. Westtown putting some stuff together late, but took them a long time to do so. They've made six of their last seven field goals. But we'll see if they can make their comeback with just a minute 12 remaining. And Blair set to inbound. So they get it to Johnson, here comes the trap. Trying to force the turnover. Good job by Johnson to find Emegu. And now he's trapped, ball's knocked loose. And it's gonna go to West Town. So they get the turnover they needed. Now a chance to dig into this deficit. Kelsey to the corner, it's Malik Rasul trying to drive, has some room in the paint. Couldn't finish though, and a big rebound by Paragon, but he's trapped underneath the basket, and a foul will go against Matt Gilhul, who was lobbying for the tie-up. So 47 seconds now remaining. Lamont gets it in and gets it back. Just four points for Lamont today. Five rebounds, three assists. As that one doesn't go, it's going to lead to a Gil Hull, but unable to throw it down the other end. And now out of the pack comes Jaden Williams. Bounce pass to a Megwu, and he'll flush it through. 
And that's going to cement things for the Bucks here. As they'll improve to 2-2 two and two on the season. Wiles' deep three, no good. And that could be the final shot we'll see of game three here on this Thursday. Blair Academy shoots 46% from the floor, 41% from three. On their way to a win. 15 assists on 23 made shots. And the Bucks take down West Town. They hand the Moose their first loss of the season, 60 to 49. One more game to go. Let's do it. We'll take a final break. Go ahead back to the home page. You'll find the link. It's going to be Moravian Prep and Bella Vista Prep coming up here after the break. 